<clears throat> yeah. Fellas, I'm telling you, man. <coughs> I always smoke weed. I can't help it. You know, I've been smoking weed since I was about 12 or 13. And it just never stops pleasing me. <laughs> Listen, why do shit for nothing? I mean, I really... I ain't going to do shit for that, but that's not really what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is why try to be a, a alpha man and don't get all of the alpha benefits? Because if it's, let's just say a number, there's 10 benefits, then you get nine of them, you're selling for nothing. You got to get all 10. You got to get all that's there for you. You really do. Do you guys want to know why it's so damn important to me that you get it right concerning this game we live in? Matter of fact, uh, anybody that answers that question, why is it so important to me that uh, you guys get it right. I'm going to send you a free book. <laughs> uh, let's see what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to send Time Will Tell. Whoever answers that. Wait, wait a minute. I don't have nobody out there. Do I? Well, I got a lot of people out there, but ain't nobody saying shit. <laughs> you guys kill me, man. How are you going to learn without putting yourself on front street? You can't be scared of that shit. God damn. If I could get something free, I don't give a goddamn. I'm going to answer. But it's okay. I'll just sell it. Because, see, it's apparent. Well, I'll give you the answer. You guys take take them too long. Uh, the answer, uh, why is it so important for me to make sure that you guys get it right concerning this game, this game of being alpha, is because it's not apparent. It's not apparent in your actions. It's not apparent in your speech. It's not apparent. That's why women dog y'all. The shit is not apparent. <laughs> the game you have, I'm telling you, bro, whatever it is, it should be apparent, especially if you want to show you have it. So here's another question. Why motherfucking get it? If you don't want to show you have it. See, what I'm saying is you guys be talking about you ain't scary. Everything I'm talking about is what scary motherfuckers do or don't do. So, who's going to listen? There's a few, few motherfuckers saying some shit uh, because we have to pick up the baton and keep things going. Joshua, no. You want to make sure the game lives on after you? No. Let's kick this shit, bud. <laughs> and cheat and cheat. Fuck you, man. Polite O's. You know, us making mistakes unnecessarily and we don't have to. No, I already gave you guys the answer. Because it's not apparent. I want to make sure that you're able to make this shit that you have apparent. Now, now, think about what I'm saying, fellas. What the fuck is he talking about? That old motherfucker. He made me sick sometimes. 
let me ask you this. Which one of you motherfuckers can't tell I'm alpha? I ain't bragging on it. I just know what I want and what I will not accept. What I'm saying is this. I live what I'm talking about and broad that see me or, or talk to me or, or, or get call herself liking me. Oh, she going to see that alpha. And she going to accept that when she considers liking me. Because there ain't going to be nothing else. Girl, if that's what you want to do, get out. Because <laughs> if it ain't my way, it's the highway. I'm serious. I ain't just saying that. If it ain't my motherfucking way, I ain't mad at you, baby. You just can't be with me. That's just all it is to it. So, see, we have all heard this. I'm probably from the beginning of your time of being in the streets and in the streets of, you know, when you try to get slick. But we have all heard game is to be sold, not told. This is, I'm going to make a point. And if you get this right, somebody, I'm going to hit you with six plus hours of Rosebud, the American pen. But you got to get this right. I'm not giving that away. By the way, that shit is for sale, $26.99. Six plus hours all the way to motherfucking Oakland from L.A. Was all the way to uh, 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 Arizona, uh, Phoenix, from L.A. I'm saying, shit, come on. You can drive anywhere across the country from, because because you do know in that shit, it, it, I think it's in there, it tells you, me and my nigga Shantek, come on, man, we went cross country every motherfucking goddamn uh, summer. And let me tell you something, what you motherfuckers don't know. Any direction, I don't give a fuck, whatever highway, get on it. Six hours from there, you're gonna run into a city, you can get some money. Or less. Yes. I know that because I rode the highways. We when we went to New York in uh May, we didn't get there the damn near July. Because we didn't. we wasn't driving no three days in no motherfucking New York. Ain't that a bitch? Six hours, seven hours, hours. We spin in that motherfucker, whatever shit. We had it down like that. But what I'm saying is, do what 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 does that mean? Game is to be sold and not told. My lady, the man, I'm gonna be fair and see what you niggas are saying. Slick money, that show is right. Uh I would call it. Not talk taking no shit. What? Just want to say thank you. Okay, you guys ain't really answered my motherfucking question. So what I'm saying is when I answered, the deal is off. <laughs> the deal is going to be off. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna say a couple more things about it, and then you know give you guys a chance to you know because y'all soft man. I don't know do shit. But uh, what I'm saying is this, man. That ain't the only statement like that. That statement and plenty of other statements all have meanings. Now, let's see what these answers are because I think I did get a few. Uh, you have to pay your dues out here in order to mm, what? You got to pay your dues out here in order to get real game. Slip money. Meaning I ain't kicking no game with nobody unless they pay my fee. No, Jesus, yeah, that's close. Joshua J. Just because of your teachability index, because if your teachability index is high, you know, you'll seek it. It means you're going to learn by paying dues. <laughs> it means... You gonna learn about fan dudes, get it through life experience. That's close. Game is a soul, and I told me it's what's keeping you out there doing your thing. Ooh, that's really close. 
game need to be given to any square because they're watered down. So, so you got to learn as you go. Sean Perry, you motherfucker. That's not the way I would have said it. But game is to be sold and not told means that you live a certain life. And if somebody want to fuck with you, they got to risk what you risking. Or they can't fuck with you. If they do risk what you risk risking, they can fuck with you. Not only that, they're going to help you get some money. And while you're getting some money, this motherfucker is going to be getting late. So I'm saying now, if it's a bitch, that bitch, you can tell her hella shit before she gets you some money. But you know, she's just buying it on credit. <laughs> That bitch buying this shit because when she go out tonight, she gonna bring that payment in. So I'm saying there's a lot of ways you can say it, but uh, what was that nigga name? Sean Perry. No, no, not Sean Perry. Who the fuck was that? Man, I lost lost my place. Wait a minute. So. <laughs> Because I'm, oh, Chris Gaines. Damn, where that motherfucking shit at? Oh, goddamn. Cold poet, you a hater. Uh, God damn it. Whoever the fuck said that I can't even find it any motherfucking more but any goddamn way. Uh, you you heard what I said. I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to hook you up. Whoever the fuck it was, I can't find it. And the shit, that's going to be on my mind now. Oh, Sean Perry. It was Sean Perry? And that motherfucker, let me see. I didn't like that shit. Game ain't to be gay. Let me square because they're watered down. <laughs> so you got to learn and you go, okay, Sean Perry. <laughs> and since all these other motherfuckers was way wrong, yours was the closest. The close only count in house shoes. But I'm going to hook you up anyway. I'm going to hook you up with, with the Rosebud, uh, the book, one and two. Yeah, that's what you get. Because that ain't really it either. But that's, that's really close, and I like it. So that's why I'm going to hook you up. But let me get back to what I was kicking with you guys. Because I got a lot to say about this shit. It's, it's part of uh, games to be sold and not told. It's, it's part of a group of statements that motherfuckers live by. Uh, is it in your motherfucking ass or is it on your ass? You know, you ain't got no bitch. And shit, it ain't going right. You might be down to your last whatever, couple bucks, whatever. And, and for whatever reason, you went in the motherfucking bathroom. Now like you do pissing and you, you know, groom yourself or you go out. And you look in that mirror and you see yourself. You say, nigga, is it in you or is it on you? And shit, it's in me. And your motherfucking ass go out there prepared for war. Statements like that, they're part of the motivation tools that pimps and motherfuckers of all walks of life have. A burglar, a robber, a killer, whoever it is, them motherfuckers have rules so they don't get caught up in no shit. The more you play them rules, the more you use them, the more the motherfuckers don't let nothing happen to you the more goddamn game you got. Yes. So what I'm saying is everything about us saying, everything about our sayings held true. As long as we didn't let suckers in the game, as long as we didn't accept some bitch talking about she could be a pimp, 
or some motherfucker making it easy for a bitch. You know, as long as we kept it like that, that shit was true. But the moment technology, oh my goodness, the moment the technology age came, shit got bad. See, a, a pimp or a regular man, they used to be, we used to be responsible for our motherfucking woman. Whatever the fuck she did, wrong or right. I'm not saying we we going with her as far as if she wrong, bitch, you wrong. I'll let a motherfucker slap you if you did too much shit. But what I'm saying is wrong or right. What I'm saying is that's the main reason that we would lace them hoes that we call and send them out there with what we thought about shit and how shit goes. I don't want to hear what you're saying, bitch. Period. It's like this. That's so she can have a better chance at representing you. Because what I'm saying is when she out there, that's all it's about. Getting you some money, representing you, making you look good, making everybody that ride by looking at, oh man, who pimping on that bitch? That motherfucker pimping like a motherfucker. Everything that bitch do is to represent you. So when she do some out of pocket shit, some shit ain't really proper, and you don't check that bitch. And if it's really, really out of pocket, and, and, and she, you know, did some shit with a pimp or whatever, then you don't let that pimp know that you know it's out of pocket and you can check that bitch. Woo woo woo. That's representing you. But what I'm saying is when you do that, you tell that bitch shit. You make sure she understand, you know, where you come is going to keep you off front street. Make sure your name keep ringing. See, that's giving her game. If you don't get a bitch no game, she ain't going to have none. I don't give a damn how much she can hold. She's going to be one of like, what's that, a dumb line. Give a fuck how much money she can make. Is how she makes it. Have a game. Doing everything the way Rosebud said it should be done. Because she knows she don't. I'm going to get an ass. Because you're fucking me up. It ain't about how much money you got, bitch. It's about how you represent. Ever since nigga started having access to this coveted knowledge that we have, only us, we the only ones believe in it. Ever since people got access to it through, through this fucking sitting and clicking their ass off on the computer, people that I mean, shouldn't have been in the game. They wouldn't have never made it past the first day on the track. They wouldn't have never made it. They, they stayed away from the game. These motherfuckers can't even speak of no particular aspect of the game. And, and they really couldn't speak about practicing it. But they didn't been on the computer. And they didn't read every goddamn thing. So even though you didn't read it, that don't mean you know it. That's why you got to show up. If you read it and you got whatever you think you need, bring your ass out because you're going to get challenged. That shit don't go on no more, you motherfuckers. And look what you've got. Look how it is. These new wave fools have popped up on the internet and completely Fuck the game up. How? They misinterpret all aspects of integrity in the game. Why? Because they big old fucking squares. And they don't think pimps and hoes have any integrity. What I'm saying is, so as far as what a pimp do, you know, about slapping this bitch or whatever. Man, he ain't no goddamn saddest. He don't want to beat bitches. 
But if you don't slap the bitch, the bitch gonna think he's soft. And she's gonna like go give him another nigga the money. Bitch, I'm slap the shit at you. Whenever. But you get one of them soft shoeing motherfuckers that ain't never really did no pimping. They'll explain some other way to do it. <laughs> there is other ways to do it. I've done them. But that's because that's what I thought at that time. This sucker, he ain't never slapping the bitch. If he do, he gonna beat her up and like half kill her. He can't pimp. You know what I'm saying? Shit, when a pimp beat the bitch up. Do you think he, sometimes he do, but not really. Why are you going to bruise her up? Because she can't go get no money after the ass whooping. Why are you going to put some kind of scar on the <laughs> Man, tricks don't want no motherfucking problems. See a bitch out there with a black hat. Oh, no, I ain't talking about that. <laughs> That's the first thing that motherfucker going to say. So, you know, <laughs> you guys don't even know what a, a pimp ass whooping is. <laughs> You motherfuckers kill me. You kill me. Because this goddamn shit is real. There is a way of him being a bitch ass. Fuck her up if that's the case, but the bitch ain't gonna have no scars. The bitch ain't gonna be broke up the way she can't go, go get no money. Because after that nigga beat her ass, he's gonna say, now go get my motherfucking money. The bitch just go straighten her hair up if that's the case. And go get it. Now, you niggas that beat the bitch up and break her arm and all that goddamn crazy ass shit, man. That ain't what, that ain't no pimp ass. <laughs> That's like a, a, a real fight. <laughs> you don't have no fight with no um, shit. Whereas one, at one time, only the motherfuckers who truly believed in the game. They truly believe the sayings like game is to be sold and not told. Or, or here's another one. The shade of the toothpick beat the burning hot sun. <laughs> that has a meaning too. And a nigga gotta understand. See, you have all these goddamn life coaches, these uh whatever they are, listening to shit I say. Buying my course and interpreting what I'm saying so they can soft shoe it <laughs> to some motherfucker. I, I don't fucking care. I do care, but I ain't gonna be trying to chase everybody down on the goddamn internet. I just gotta, you know, get in my niche. So I try to keep it real. I give up all kinds of shit. I do all kinds of things, you know. But the reason I'm doing it is because I got something for you to get. What is it? I'm giving you some of it now. I give some of it free. The books I'm talking about you buy. Oh, uh, rosebudtheauthor.com. That's where you can see my books. Rosebud the author. Uh, I mean, shit, I give away shit all the time. All the time. Motherfuckers win shit. Motherfuckers just get shit. Buy some shit and I say, I'm blessing you with this. Extra. So I got people that fuck with me. But what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is these, these people that most of you motherfuckers listen to, they're just telling you something the way you want to hear it so that you can accept it and uh, I guess give them a like. <laughs> I don't care if you like me. I really don't, because I know the only motherfucker don't like me is the motherfucker that understand what the fuck I'm saying. I'm a turn off. Cause I know I turn motherfuckers off. I try to. I don't give a fuck. I do not care if you buy my shit or not. But if you did that, I'm going to be fucking with you. And ain't that what you want? That <laughs> shit. Game ain't free. Or, oh, okay. What I'm saying is, there you go. I thought you understood game is to be sold and not told. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to have a hard time giving me $8. Huh? Oh, no. Matter of fact, I've been selling a lot of them. But you do have a hard time buying my courses and shit. But I don't really care about that. 
Because I got sidewalk university. I'm teaching my shit. Man, I am a motherfucker. I ain't gonna have no one egg. Break that motherfucker. You ain't got no more eggs. God damn. No. I got eggs in my motherfucking basket. I ain't finna depend on now one of you motherfuckers unless you're some motherfucker that I can depend on. Because I know one thing, I bet your ass can depend on me. I bet you can depend on my motherfucking ass. I bet you ain't never heard no motherfucker ask me a question that I could not give a solid, real answer to in less than one second if I ain't never even heard the shit before. I don't take no long time to think because I believe in what I do. And I know I ain't gonna never think to rob no bank or kill somebody or, or steal some shit. So, as long as I know that, I could do the first thing that come to my mind. This is what I do. I'm doing the first thing that come to my motherfucking mind. As long as I know I ain't gonna do nothing stupid. All I think about is me, me, me. Me, 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 me. And then I think about whatever else is on the agenda. Shit. What I'm saying is these motherfuckers that's doing this, somehow y'all paying them for whatever. They don't care that they fucking up the game. They don't care that they are making it to where those of you who are serious about it and trying to get something. You ain't gonna be able to even live off the bullshit they telling you because what you what they telling you is making you fuck everything up. Then bitches do this, then bitches do that. I mean, bitches have respect for pimps, even if they didn't have one. They was an outlaw. They ain't coming on that goddamn track. Shit. They they was hoes. So they, they, they knew how to get money away from the track. Because they knew if they came on that motherfucking track, a nigga was finna have your motherfucking ass, so you ain't getting no money. <laughs> this is how it go. Them motherfuckers water the shit down so you can let an outlaw bitch out. Just about, That's the way bitches is today. Man, please, them bitches was like that in the 30s, 1930s. They just couldn't do it. But all these years later, shit got so bad that none of the real shit fucking exists anymore. There's a whole bunch of bullshit. Like a motherfucker going into business. Um, back in the day, man, Pretty Willie got, uh, had the King's Palace. Uh, man, I can't think of that motherfucker. It, but shit, man, Stevie. Stevie's on the strip. Uh, all the motherfuckers. They they went in the biz. They was in the game. They went in the business. Then we used to flood them motherfuckers' joints because for one thing, now that they out the streets, shit, they leave old hoes for me to catch. Plus, since they was out the street, I'd rather him have my money than some other motherfucker that I ain't never fucked with. I'm saying, but today. Yeah, there's so many goddamn avenues for you motherfuckers to take. See, now there's a million ways to do what you need to do for your future. Because I know Stevie's on the strip. He, he's still rolling. But I think the Kings, well, yeah, the Kings Palace did close now. But I don't give a fucking close down. When it was open, that's when we went. I sold out. All that damn shit. Nigga, you know motherfuckers on et cetera. You know, people own that shit that we knew. We patronized and we got red carpet. All the movie stars and shit, me in there, seeing us get that red carpet. <laughs> the, the King's Palace, let's say, uh, no, nah, I don't think Stevie Wonders was ever there. But let's just say Stevie Wonders was there and he pulled up. Now he getting first class. Oh, yeah, hell, oh, you ain't got to wait in line, Mr. Mr. Stevie Wonder, you know, come up, come on in and then Rosebud pull up. Sid Pretty Willie gonna say, uh, he gonna escort all of us in at the same time. Pretty Willie did not give a fuck about no star when it came to a reputable pimp. <laughs> yes, that's how I go. Pretty Willie had the motherfuckers. Matter of fact, I think. 
You might not have met him. But but back in the day, we had the Superman curl. <laughs> we, oh, that's it. I think Pretty Willie was the first one with that shit. You know, because if your name Pretty Whatever, something about you, your hair, your face, something you got, you know, he had that. That nigga was that the Superman curl. Shit, nigga. We love that nigga though. So what I'm saying is, we wasn't hating. We did not hate when someone showed success. We did not want that motherfucker to fail. We wanted him to stay open forever because we knew we had a spot. And Pretty Willie was on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> that was his first nigga on Hollywood Boulevard. With a real nigga club, King's Palace. All oh, that shit was dope. Oh, any motherfucking way. Today, uh, for those of you motherfuckers that really want to, you can make a lot of legal moves that we couldn't make. And I'm gonna be honest, I salute any one of you motherfuckers that you know come up. And actually makes a move and it works out favorably for it. I, I ain't gonna hate. I just think it's gotten so bad today that fuck. I don't think none of you motherfuckers out there really make moves for the love of the game. I think you motherfuckers are, are well, I ain't gonna say what I think. I'm just going to say, I know we used to do everything for the love of the game. Fuck the police. We ain't trying to get a fuck about what they going to say. We all were out there for the love of the game that we chose to live, knowing full well all the pitfalls it had. None of that kind of loyalty or dedication exists no motherfucking no man. And that's what really kind of fucks me up. Because no matter what I do, no matter how much shit I talk, you may never get back to, to where a motherfucker is actually doing this shit for the sake of being able to say, man, I'm a motherfucker. Because uh, I guess it's going to sound stupid to y'all. But that's what the fuck we did it for. Because any, that's why when a bitch or some motherfucker, not a dude, but when a bitch say, Jimmy Dixon, you a motherfucker, I had to go fuck that bitch because my dick got hard. Because it was a real honor to be called a motherfucker. That's why everybody wanted to be a motherfucker. But only certain people can be a motherfucker. And you had to be a kind of person that, that can be one or shit. You ain't going to get that, rep that that recognition. But you guys would, would steal it. Would start acting. But no, not, not if you was out there with us. But today, y'all just start acting like shit, man. Why? Because you, you, you got a, a studio. Or, or, or I don't know why y'all do it. I'm no real mother. <laughs> I'm no real motherfuckers had careers. Singing. Playing in bands and shit, them niggas quit. So they can be pimps. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, at least you, if you want to, those of you motherfuckers that want to, you can start seeing and learning the truth about shit. And it should be understood. And, and the way you're going to learn it is as it should be understood. I mean, goddamn. Think about it. I'm doing my Ask Rosebush show again. Now that one you can call in and can ask all your goddamn questions. I did one last night. Wasn't that many people on it. But I'm doing one every Sunday night. Six o'clock. Real Talk with Rosebush on Blog Talk. Shit. So what I'm really trying to get y'all to see is that I always have an ulterior motive for doing whatever I do. I don't do shit for nothing. I fucking don't. I want something out of everything I do. Shit, at least, like I said, 
If you want it, you can get it. And check this game. I'm telling you, motherfuckers. I fucking have six plus hours. I'm telling you, get in and then uh, get in your car in LA, drive to San Francisco. You ain't got to take nothing out, put nothing else on. And you ain't. Everybody that gave it to say the same thing. I've been mean, had it for years. I just didn't like the way it was recorded. And I told you this dude I ran into answered all my motherfucking questions. So what I'm saying is, what, what do you wait for? What do you have to lose? 26 bucks. See, what I'm saying is, in, in, in hearing how shit happened, hearing me use and emphasize what needs to be emphasized, see, you're going to be able to see that the motherfuckers that uh, I fucked with, it, they stood up. Because we all dealt with con men. We dealt with drag niggas. We dealt with niggas that had boosters. We we dealt with motherfuckers that robbed, stick up artists, you know, and the dope man. All them motherfuckers would be in the same spot. And they all had respect from whatever they did. None of us tripped. <laughs> Because we knew the after hours was like, you know, a neutral spot. And we live true to the cold. So we ain't starting no shit up in there. Why? Because, you know, we was de completely dependent on the game we represented from our field, whatever it was. I represented Pimpin. This other motherfucker might have to represent gambling. What, what, cause he ain't no pimp, he ain't no man, ain't that a bitch? Now, I do agree that of all possible, you motherfuckers need to look out for your golden years. And, and that's one of the main reasons that I be feeling obligated to bring the pure truth. I be feeling obligated to bring straight laced truth about this game. I've lived it. And I just can't stand to see you not getting the thrill, getting the feeling that you get from being recognized as a real nigga. You, you'll never get the feeling I'm talking about by soft shilling with these hoes listening to these suckers. That feeling is there. It's here for you. And, 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 and if you want to get it, you, you could be like Phil Mo when he said on that documentary, I feel great. <laughs> feel more like off those 90. <laughs> Shit. So I don't feel bad getting this off. See, you should be that selfish. And I don't want to harm on being selfish and conceited. That's for another video. But if used correctly, I'm telling you, these are very desirable traits for a motherfucker to have. They also promote you to stand on your belief. Just go ask any OG pimp. Who's the baddest motherfucker pimp in your day? That motherfucker gonna tell you, man, I was. I thought you know. Because even if he didn't have a two or three holes his whole career, he feel like that about himself. That's how you're supposed to be. But it have to be something that you're actually doing to make you feel like that. See, you want to know why that motherfucker believed in his shit like that? Because of his conceit and selfishness. If he ain't got nothing to be conceited about, that means he hasn't been selfish enough in his life. That's how I see it. Those are the two most needed qualities you're going to acquire and learn how to use. Fucking with me. A real pimp is conceited. Because every time he looks at himself and makes some sort of assessment, it's always fucking 19 out of a, a, a scale of 1 to 10. Shit. And, and he can see that. Because every time he look at his motherfucking self, every time, oh, excuse me, I already said that he, about his, he was deceived. I'm going selfish. He, he's selfish. Because there's no other motherfucker on earth qualified to comment on his stature except him. He's selfish in another way, too. 
everything that happens in and around his life must go through him. <laughs> and believe it or not, it's a great deal of benefits from having this goddamn mentality. And those motherfucking benefits are never ending. Think about what I've been saying. Think about how much sense I'm actually making. All right, y'all. Uh, I ain't gonna read your damn quote. You know, you know, I don't think it's not really got that many people. Oh, shit, that's a damn good question. Okay, let's see. Hey, you need just... <laughs> Lena and Ronnie Johnson. Lena, you know I love. Don't no disrespect, Ronnie. Lena, you know I love you. That's my daughter and mama name. <laughs> Rock power. Game is good at making excellence. I'm in here, man. Okay, Rock Power. Christian for re. The technology shit. I would say those people are more on hustlers. They just want to make some fast money and not care about you. You write about that, Christian for Iceberg J, what are the traits of a man of value? Hey, bro, don't you know only damn fools and suckers phrase their questions in a question form? If you don't know how to ask the question without putting a goddamn question mark at the end of it, Ain't nobody going to share no game with you, silly motherfucker. Uh, uh, come on, what are what the fuck that I just read? That. Uh, Christian Corey, what do you think about Don Magic Wand stereo? If a woman give you her money, she really likes you. Why the fuck would you ask me that? That's Magic Wand. Well, I agree with that. <laughs> but some bitches. I mean, they, they like you right now, but and they give you their money. In two days, or not, that bitch gone. She might have gave you 6000 That's because bitches don't care nothing about no motherfucking money. Bitches give you some money just to see how you are. Because she knows she can't see how you are without giving you no motherfucking money. And if you're a nigga like Magic Wand, I know he asked for a bank. Shit, I know I was six racks, bitch. Or oh, fuck you. Uh, what made you bring blog, blog talk back? back? <laughs> but because I want to kick it with y'all. This ain't kicking it. That's what's up, OG. I learned more from you cutting me up than the course talk. <laughs> can't wait till next Sunday. I know you can't, goddamn it. Because, goddamn it, this shit's going to be dope. It is Jay Black. That let's see. Jay Black, that's the problem. Most people don't live by code. They don't have a personal phone. They don't, goddammit, Jay Black. Urban Mac. That's good game you talking OG. <laughs> hey you guys. Believe me. I spit game from my heart. I'm serious, goddammit. I don't be just talking shit. You know, hell yeah, I be selling shit, but not every time I, I'm talking. A lot of times, I'm, I'm kicking it on the real, just kicking it. You can't be mad at me for wanting to, to uh, sell shit. I got to live. I ain't got no fucking job. You know I was a pimp, nigga. What you think my goddamn uh, return from my IRA is? <laughs> my, uh, uh, my IRA is, is looking bad. It's about taking care of me. I, I can't live on my IRA. My uh, motherfucking shit. Okay, but true game and respect in our day. Sucker shit was looked up to by weak dudes and simple bitches these days. It's the damn thing. Aaron Taylor, you're right, but we already been kicked all that. Tony O. Calloway, you said before you are fired and ice, and you knew when to have balance. How? There's another question mark. A bitch gonna pay for the information in the game that I have because I accumulated this knowledge in 12 years in this game. Lots of long nights, but lots of success. G the gent. That's what's up. G the gent. G the gent, you know. This is what's up, baby. Still be living, still be sane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, 
I used, I'm serious, Jesus. I used to motherfucking get up and look in the mirror. Oh shit. Poop, pull that gray hair out. Poop, pull that gray hair out. Now look at my ass now. <laughs> How the fuck did I pull this? Uh, and even though you can't see him, I was pulling the black hairs out. But it's too many of them too. So I just let it grow. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm gone. We're going to be kicking it real from now on on blog talk on this shit. But blog talk, I'm going to be way more about the confidence shit in SWU. But here, you know, we talk about all kinds of shit. I'm gone.